Hello, seniors. That's Mr. Reem. Quick video to help you guys request your final transcripts via your Navance Family Connection account. Here I am logged in as a fake student. I'm on the home page. To get here, remember you have to go to the North Tile High School website. Under the counseling area, click on the counseling link, and on the bottom towards the right hand side, the first link on under the link section is your Navance Family Connection link. Please click there and you can log in using your email address and password that you set up when you registered. Again, when, if you forgot that, please email me. Uh, at jream at ttsd.org and I will help you reset that uh, but please use the forgot password uh, link first in case you forgot your password. Once we get here in order to request your transcripts there's a few steps that you have to do. First you need to go to make sure that you have all of your colleges updated um, so make sure that you go to the college tab and then under the colleges I'm applying to make sure that all of your colleges that you have applied to are included in this list. You should have already done a common app matching if you've already done that. Um, but down here you'll see your list of schools that you've applied to. If you've added any new applications, make sure they're included here. And then you have to actually go through and update all of your results in order to be able to send transcripts. Hopefully you've already sent all of your transcripts that you needed to uh, for the initial transcript request. Just for an example, let me quickly show you how to update. If you click on that pencil icon, it'll bring to this edit applications. You can select these different things, uh, like if you've actually submitted your application, uh, tick that box. All this stuff is relatively low level at this point of view. The biggest thing that I'm interested in is this results tab. It pulls down all of these different things and so you can see uh, accepted, different admit periods, withdrawn, um, if you didn't finish it, and if you're like conditionally accepted, denied, etc. Uh, and also if you're waitlisted or deferred. Please select those for all of your applications. Um, and then down at the bottom, you have to scroll down once you've updated all these and click Update Applications. Just click that for you. It'll take you right back to that same screen. The next thing that you need to do is go down here and click uh, Select which school that you are attending. By this time of the year, hopefully you've made your decision. And you can go through here and select the school. And then you'll need to hit Update. And that will update, and it'll just show that here. It won't change anything else. In order to request your transcripts then, once you've done those two steps, please come up here to underneath the colleges I'm applying to uh, text and there's a button that says request transcripts. Please click on that. You must have requested a transcript initially uh, in order for this button. I've already just requested uh, transcripts, for example, to UC California Berkeley. Um, and it, once you've actually requested the initial transcript, the option for requesting final transcripts appears up here. Um, if you haven't requested your transcripts yet, go ahead and go down here and add a request. I'll send both um, if you haven't sent them yet but for some odd reason. But then go up to the request final transcript button. And this should be done for only one school, the school that you are actually going to. Please, please, please make sure that's a very important piece. Do not send transcripts to other schools that you're not actually attending. This should be the school that you will be enrolling in once you graduate. So please request only final transcripts or um, for common application schools, your, your uh, final uh, student report through Naviance uh, for the school that you're attending in the fall or the spring or, or the next school that you'll be attending after North Tile High School. Uh, just go through and click that. It'll say request final transcript and then you'll see that it's added uh, to your list. And you can always come through and check this. You can see when it's been mailed when uh, what what the different things are and you actually get a confirmation number over here in case there's any communication errors between the school and the system. Uh, if you have any questions, I am in the office until June 18th and I won't be back until a few weeks before school starts in the fall, uh, but Ms. Cavell is in the office throughout the summer and she can answer or send transcripts um, if you use this system. Remember that you must check if you can actually send uh, transcripts through this system. Uh, if you cannot, for example, you see Berkeley, you may not. Why? Because of this stamp icon. Any icon or any school that has a stamp next to it, you may not send using Naviance. That is the big caveat. If you see a stamp, you must go to parchment.com and send, request your final transcripts that way. If you request it before you graduate, make sure that you say hold until next grading period or else we might send it too early. Most schools need proof of graduation. So I would send that be between when you graduate and about June 30th in order for you to be uh, fully prepared and have all of this stuff reflected on, on your transcript that schools are looking for. Again, if you have questions, feel free to email me. This should walk you through it. I also included a, a 
quick tutorial on paper in case you don't want to watch this five-minute video. So thank you guys.